The Mineral Resources Department is not dealing effectively with illegal mining in the Northwest. That's the view of Department's Portfolio Committee, which is on a four-day site visit to the province and Gauteng. In fact, it's checking on progress made to rehabilitate old mine shafts since its visit last year. Our reporter, Bafedile Muerani, has more. Parliament's Mineral Resources and Energy Portfolio Committee is on a fact-finding mission to Vetrange Village near Sun City in rural Northwest. It's checking on progress made in the fight against illegal mining. It had strong words for the department on how little has changed since its last visit. Even the last time, the, 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 the gentleman who is giving us the briefing, uh, that chief pointed at him that I, I wrote to this man for several times. Nothing came out of that. He's still doing nothing even this time around Jefferson. Here we could park cars when we came. It's two times worse. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I, I, I don't think the problem is uh, solely on uh, uh, taking excavations and uh, all of that. There is a problem here, and the sooner we get into it, the better. Uh, whoever is responsible for taking these guys to court uh, is not tightening the, the belt, and I think it's deliberate. Residents in this village refused to speak to us on camera as they say they live in fear. They say mining poses a threat to the structural integrity of their houses. However, the Mineral Resources Department says it lacks capacity to tackle this problem. We can confidently say as a DMRE that in this uh, area we have not received any support with regard to confiscation and transportation of any mining equipment which are involved in illegal mining activities in this area. So that is why the challenge is like this. But in our own, as the DMRE, we are doing what we can do with legal resources. But you see, you do we come, we can give a notice, we can open a case, but uh, it does not go anywhere. The committee says much still needs to be done and things need to be tackled differently. You still have people who can buy second-hand gold and so forth. We say we must look at an international intervention so that you don't have a market for the gold. So look at the end product of the value chain and then be able to close there so that there's no market. Then if you don't have a market or the market is very strict, then we may be able to succeed. The committee is expected to visit the volatile Riverly area this weekend. This is where more than 100 illegal miners have been arrested in the last month. Bafedile Moerani in Rustenbeck.